Okay guys, so hopefully you've got your, your Facebook you know, account all set up and everything, you know, what we talked about in the previous video. In this video here, we're gonna talk about your Facebook fan page. And again, this is just gonna be basic, just more of an introduction in terms of uh, an introduction and a setup. So uh, your Facebook fan page, now before we talked about your Facebook wall or just your Facebook page, which if you've just created your your um, you know your Facebook account, or maybe you already had a Facebook account and you've just been doing everything on your regular Facebook you know page. Uh, what you're going to need, uh, what we're going to be talking about later in the course is 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 some different types of paid advertising on Facebook. But what you're going to need is a Facebook fan page, uh, which will allow you to do a lot more than on your regular page. Uh, in terms of, of, of attracting more people. And remember on your Facebook page, you can only have 5,000 friends, but on your, on your fan page, on your Facebook fan page, which is what you're looking at right now, this is actually my, my Facebook fan page here. I can have as many likes, because every time you get a like on a fan page, it's like a friend, meaning that they'll see a lot of your, your status updates that you're posting. Let me kind of explain. So if, you're look, so if you're looking at my fan page right now, um, and again, it look, it's going to look very similar to my wall because a lot of times that I post, sometimes I post on here and share on my Facebook wall and vice versa. So uh, my fan page and my Facebook wall tend to look very similar. There might be a few differences here and there, but for the most part, they're, they're kind of similar. But the reason why I use a fan page is because I do a lot of different types of advertising on my fan page that I can't do on my wall, which you're gonna learn a lot more about that a little bit later in the course. Again, I'm just keeping it simple. And remember, you know, video by video, day by day, you know, week by week, we're just taking it one step at a time right now. So we're not gonna go into a lot of detail, but what your fan page allows you to do is basically reach more people. So if you remember anything out of this video, what does your fan page do? It allows you to reach more people. Also, it gives you more information in terms of what marketing is working best for you because you get a lot of feedback on who's who's looking at your post like on your on your actual uh, facebook wall if you do a status update you really don't know who actually saw that post uh, unless they like it or comment on it right but on on your fan page not only will you be able to see who liked it and commented of course but Facebook will also tell you how many people actually viewed that particular post. Like for example, uh, like this one right here. Um, this is actually a post that I did for a webinar. A little, little trick there that I did on some, some photography there. Uh, but again, it told me that 195 people saw this post organically. Um, I got over a thousand people that actually saw it because I actually did a paid ad on this particular post. I kind of boosted it. I gave it a little boost. Basically, I just gave Facebook, I think about five bucks, and they sent this post out to a lot more people. So I actually got more people to view it simply because I gave Facebook five dollars. You know, So really, really simple. And of course, with that five bucks got me 80 clicks. So 80 people clicked on that link just because I pretty much boosted it, okay? So that's what this, that's what your fan page can do. So, so with that said, guys, uh, and we're, we're gonna go over more about your fan page and how it works and all the cool things that you can do with, with it later. But what I want you to do now is actually set up your fan page. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to set up a fan, you know, a fan page on your account. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna log out of this particular account that I'm in, and I've got a test account that I use from time to time just to test things out on. Um, I don't use it all the time, but it's more of a test account just to test out different things. Um, so I'm going to this particular account here. This is just another Facebook account that I have. Uh, nothing special about this particular uh, account here other than, let's see, uh, you know, it's gonna look a little different there. So I got a few different different things that look a little different, right? Um, let's see here. All right, yep, looks pretty much the same. It's been a while since I logged into this particular account. But what I wanna do is actually create a fan page. So this is my regular Facebook wall, right? This is my regular Facebook page here. And as you can see, this is a test account. I only got like 322 friends. Again, I don't promote it. I don't really do a lot of engagement on this particular page. But what I want to do is do a fan page. So 
All I want to do is come up here to the top right hand corner, right up here, and I want to actually click on that little drop down arrow, and then I want to click on where it says create page. So when I click on create page, it's going to bring me to this page right here. Okay, so when, it, when, when, when this comes up, what I, it's going to give you several options here. And, and typically, again, if you're going to create a fan page, you can have multiple fan pages. You can have fan pages for your products, fan pages for your services, fan pages for your opportunity, fan pages is for your dog, fan pages for anything. Okay, it's a fan page. You know, you're looking for fans on something, right? You know, whether it's a local business, an organization, a brand, a product, entertainment, some kind of cause or some kind of community, as you can tell here. Typically what, what I use when I create a fan page, I always have a fan page of me, uh, which I just showed you in my other account. So and you can make other fan pages if you want, but again, let's just keep it simple, day by day, right? Let's just, let's just go through the motions here. Again, I'm, I'm holding your hand through the process. What are we doing here? We're just gonna set something up. So when I click on uh, artist, brand, or public figure, this is the one that I usually use when I create my own fan page. This is one I use in my, pro my previous uh, Facebook account that I showed you earlier. So I click on that. Basically it's gonna ask, Facebook is gonna ask me what category are you in? Um, I'm a business person, okay? So I put business person. Um, it's typically gonna ask for a name. I'm just gonna say test account right now. It's creating a test account. And, and then from there, uh, of course you will put your name. I always recommend if you're going to create your first fan page it should always be you. Remember the number one product that you have is you. You're trying to get people to trust you online so they'll buy from you. Okay. So this is one step that we're going to need to do to get us closer and closer to that um, unlimited leads and unlimited sales to come down the road. Right. So you just click on get started. Give it a second. It's going to do what it does. Then it's going to come to this page here. And again, I might kind of speed through this a little quick. It's pretty self-explanatory, guys, but uh, it says uh, set up test account. I just gave it the name test account, so it's just saying test account because that's what I gave it. Uh, of course, if I put John Doe, to say set up John Doe or whatever. So add a description or whatever if you want to add a description and everything. And it's pretty self-explanatory. You can just read the information here. It's pretty explanatory. I'm just going to skip that for now. Um, and then here it's going to ask me to... Uh, put a profile picture on my fan page and remember your fan page and your wall look very similar uh, But your fan page is going to give you more Resources and more, you know Reach to people so you're going to be able to touch more people and get more information about what's working when it comes to your marketing uh, So you put put your profile picture here uh, upload from computer um, You know, I can probably click on you know anything here. Let's see here uh, uh, let's see, we'll just add this here. That's an image. And then just give it a second. And you can even import from a website or whatever. But again, I'm gonna keep it simple. Just whatever pictures or images that you have on your computer, just allow it to do that. Uh, look like it's still working. Let's give it a second here. I know it's, uh, there we go, finally got it. So there it is there, we hit next. Uh, then it's asking me to add to your favorites, uh, add your page to your favorites. Yeah, you can add, well, or I can skip it. Meaning your favorites, like on, when you go to your Facebook page, you know, all those different things on the left-hand side of your page. If you want to add to where you can access your fan page right there, so it's easy access, you can definitely do that. I can click add to favorites, therefore it'll show in that list of things on my left-hand side of my, my regular page there. So I can click on next, and you can always change that and take those off. You can always edit whatever you want or add or delete uh, later if you ever wanted to. Um, it's giving me, tell us about the people you most likely to connect with. Anyone can find your page, but we'll do our best to put it in front of people who matter to you the most. So uh, if you live in, you know, pe include people. It just basically Facebook is trying to help you to reach people that might be interested in you. So if you want to put some information, um, let me see, include, uh, I'll just say, just include people here in the U.S. Just keep it like that. Because uh, you can add country, state, zip, or pretty much some other different things. Um, you know, I would just, for now, just keep it simple. We'd just say United States and uh, you can save it 
or again, you can skip it. So I'm not gonna really worry about it, I'm just gonna skip it right now, but it just kind of gives you an idea of what that means. And, and it should come up here. So there's my, my test account there, right? And uh, from here, um, you know, we can do a lot of different things. And again, I'm not gonna go into a lot of information. Once you set it up, it's gonna walk, walk you through a tutorial. As you can tell, let me kind of grade everything out. Facebook is saying, hey, I wanna show you what this button does. I wanna show you what the next button does. So it shows you your page. It's gonna kinda of highlight a few things here that you can check out. Um, you know, and, and that's pretty much what it's doing. It's kinda of taking me through a little tutorial. That's all it's doing. So this is, this is my new fan page. And, and this is what your new fan page will look like. Of course, you'll have your image right here. Very similar to setting up your Facebook page um, your Facebook account, okay, uh, for the first time. It's very similar to that. You can add a cover photo if you want to add a cover photo. So if I can, uh, if I can choose um, or upload a photo, so if I wanted to upload a photo, um, I can put this one right here, uh, just, just a random image that's on my computer, and then give it a second, and then it should upload here, and there we go, okay? There's my wife, uh, myself, our buddy Aaron, and I can click on save changes and boom, just go from there, right? Give it a second, I think I had to reboot or whatever, uh, redo the page weather, and boom, my fan page is set up. And from this point right here, guys, this is it, okay? This is all we need to do right now. We don't need to do anything else, just keep it simple. Um, it's trying to still do a little bit of tutorial stuff here and you'll see that when you do it for the first time because we're going to need one later in the course. So right now I just want you to just set it up. You know, you can put you an image on here. You can put your cover image as well if you want to. But again, all we're doing at this mo at this point is just really just setting it up. That's all we want to do at this point. So with that said, that's it for setting up your fan page. Um, we'll see you on the next video and we'll continue with the training. So we'll see you. See you here in a few. Again, go ahead and set up your fan page. Go ahead and do that right now. So you can, that, that piece will be done. And again, guys, really real quick, as you're going through the course, I wouldn't watch any other video, the next video, until you've completed the task of the video that you're watching. So go ahead and create your fan page and then we'll see you on the next video.